So let's dive into this. The seven chakras. Let, let's let's dive into it. Let's see here. So we explain to the people what, what the chakra is. So we'll start with uh, the first chakra, the base, the root. Positive pole or giving mode in male body. Negative pole or receiving mode in female body. The first chakra in a male or female is situated at the perineum. This chakra has a positive pole in male and hence is a physical manifestation and its outward shape. It is in the giving mode. The first chakra in the female in the receiving mode as it has a negative pole. Now that's interesting. That's interesting. I know that's that's true. I agree with this totally. Well, it doesn't matter if I agree with it. It, it, it's, it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. But a lot of men have issues. And I don't know, and, and I'm not sure where we get this from. You know, maybe we could do a deep dive on that. But we, we sometimes have issues um, with women wanting to receive uh, from a base level, manifestation level. Uh, a manifestation, I take it as something tangible, right? So, a lot of men have a problem with this, but I always felt like this was natural for for a man to give, uh, to provide, and a woman to be in the receiving uh, position when it comes to that. Uh, I think more men could accept that wholeheartedly if they understood the chakras and understand. That just be patient. <laughs> Your time to receive is coming too, <laughs> where she gives naturally. Right. Right. And so, uh, personally, I've always felt weird when a woman attempted or or did give me something tangible, uh, offer to take me to dinner. Um, just you know, offer to 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 give me money to start a business. I've always felt weird or rejected it all together. It just felt unnatural, um, and I never really understood why why that was. But it makes sense, you know. It makes sense. But what are your thoughts on that? The, the first chakra. Well. You can't talk about that without talking about the second one because the first chakra, the sacral chakra, and the second chakra, or the first chakra, the root chakra, the second one is the sacral chakra. So again, when you come to the sacral chakra or the womb chakra, it reverses. That chakra on a man is the open receiving one. That chakra on the woman is the giving one, the womb. Right. Everything comes out of the womb. So let's say the man is giving on the root chakra level. But what that is supposed to do is ping the next chakra to have the woman give from that chakra. And it's really interesting because the giving from the root chakra is a different level than the giving from the sacral chakra that a woman does. Wow. Wow. So when you really think about that, again, you know, you and I have talked about a lot of this stuff, but. So, you know, even, even in the, even in the natural form of, of birthing a child, the man plants the seed, it pings to the womb chakra, and the woman manifests. It takes a while. She manifests, and then she brings forth that physical manifestation to the man. Right, right. So it's he that way in every area, energetically. You know, the man the man pings the first chakra, then it, it, it actually manifests that a woman wants to give back. Right. The woman instinctively wants to give back but she gives back from a nurturing space exactly from a you know supporting space okay you made me feel safe the root chakra is all about feeling safe and rooted and grounded and if you run if and i know we talked about this as before you talked about it being a certain kind of man that could actually bring out something in a wounded feminine now the wounded feminine stores in the second chakra the sacral chakra or the womb right Right. That's where all of our pain are. I mean, for the most part, that's where our pain begins. And then it moves to the next female chakra, which is the heart. 
and that's where they they talk about having a broken heart but it always starts in the womb the yeah. womb was not reverenced the womb was violated uh you know the room, womb was disrespected whatever it was it always starts there so when when a man is able to make a woman feel really safe he's the root foundation there you go that only then only then is when she can ping from that next chakra and give him back for making her feel safe, for containing her. The whole basis of that, that root chakra is the containment. There you go. There so you if go. you don't have that foundation, you know, <laughs> you see guys that they, they don't even try on that foundational level. They don't even right. try to understand that. They're just going to go, you know, right, hit the higher chakras and, you know, you know, get her, you know, mental up here or her heart or whatever, but they right. forget about the foundation. So that relationship is never going to work because right. the foundation is missing. We have to realize anything we build does start at the foundation. Everything, everything. And this is, I think so, this is connected so, to, um, sorry, I think this is connected to when we, we say, the woman is mirroring the man, wants to mirror the man. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What I can't saying? stress enough. I can't stress enough as a feminine energy, how important and critically important it is to make for her to feel safe in her interaction and in whatever level it is in working with a male energy. Because wow. if that's not there, you can try to work. You can, you can, you know, try to, give back from the heart chakra generally if she doesn't feel safe on the foundation it's not going to be coming from the womb because the womb's going to be locked up but still the woman activate is on the heart chakra and the mental the the third eye chakra that's the female chakras as well so generally she's going to be you know maybe doing stuff for you on those levels but inside of her there's no security because the foundation isn't even there it's locked Oh, she's like, you're not sense. so the, yeah it makes sense so the man's not getting her all everything she's capable of giving uh, oh no she's not and the and the thing is is you know you know when we feel safe when we feel safe there's nothing that we won't do there is nothing we will not do to see our man successful yeah i agree i agree but mom, when there's that when that. there's <laughs> that yeah and that's the that's the truth yeah. That is the truth. It's just the, the, what it feels like in a female energy when that happens, when you literally know that you are safe, this man is not going to violate your trust. He's not going to violate, you know, he's going to understand, you know, that your feminine energy is going to be crazy. Sometimes your hormones and your, your emotions and everything are coursing through your body, but he's okay. He's just going to be like, you know, a wall. He's, he's okay. He, he's just like, it's a safe space. He doesn't need to say anything. And that's something I was thinking about too, is a lot of men hear us talking about this, but they have no idea any examples on containing that energy or how to make her feel safe. Cause they're just like, huh? Huh? Well, what do I do? I'm going to go fight for you. Oh no, that's not what it's about. It's not about fighting. It's a whole lot different. It's on a, a, a core level of feeling safe energetically. Right, just being a rock. Yeah. And, it, and, and it's in and, and really, really a foundation with with the feminine energy is communication. Mm. Without the proper communication, she can never feel safe. I don't care what he does. Mm. And I think men tend to not communicate or, you know, in general, a lot of men don't they're not communicators as much. But to actually set the foundation to where they're going to ping the womb chakra first, which then will move to opening the heart chakra, they have to communicate. Yeah, that's, I mean, you said something profound there. And I, I think that is, that is true. Communication is key. But I think there's a, a, a disconnect in that because we communicate in different ways. I think men, yes. men are bottom line. Like we're bottom line. Just give me, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just give me the, the nuts and bolts of it. What 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 are you saying? And, and sometimes, man, y'all go from here and over here, over here, you know, over here, yeah. and, and we're like, we're like. <laughs> I mean, I think um, the comedian he, he rest, may rest in peace, uh, Patrice O'Neill, tells a joke about that. Let me ask you. Okay, by show of hands, guys. Uh, how many 
of you, your woman tells wonderful stories. <laughs> the guy holding his woman and she's cold. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 okay. No. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, great story. Look, well, let's see that hand held high, bro. Told you. And he's looking at this white couple, right? And she's just like, because she don't want to look like a villain. And so she just, but she don't tell good stories. She just, she don't. What's your name? Dave, what's your name? How are you? How are you? This is truth. When you call Dave from another room, Dave, immediately, <laughs> he goes, ugh. What the f what does she want now? Dave, you wanna hear what happened to me today? You be like, oh, oh, oh. I make my girl tell me the end of a story first. Before I invest any more time into listening to the rest of it. You wanna hear what happened to me today? No, what happened? Somebody got shot. Alright, go ahead, try to tell the story. Starts off wrong. You know my friend Diane, right? Uh. No, I don't really. I don't. You know Diane? I don't know Diane. I, I don't. You, now I gotta tell you another two hour story so you know who Diane is. Remember, 10 years ago I made you go to a party you didn't wanna go to? And I introduced you to some people you didn't care about? Well, Diane was one of them, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. You don't remember, you're just saying you remember. So I could tell the story faster. Well, why don't you tell uh, the story faster, sweetie? Who, who got shot? Did Diane get shot? No? Did she, did she shoot somebody? No? Well, why did you say Diane? Because we were talking and she don't like guns and I don't like guns and I... And I think they should make a rocket ship and shoot all guns into another... Who got shot? <laughs> Nobody, if you're gonna yell at me, forget it. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you something, man. You make me feel bad, man. I'm sorry, okay. <laughs> and so, how do we... Cause that's the man. We spend a lot of time on this root chakra, cause that's the foundation. How do we get past that? Does the woman <laughs> need to change a bit? Does the man need to be more patient? Like, how do we how do we pass that? No, I'll, I'll just I'll just speak to you from my perspective. Neither of us need to change. We just need to accept mm. who we are. I wow. see that in myself all the time. I'll start out saying one thing and it's just like, you can't help it. That's the female energy. You're here, you're here. And, and it's like, as these energies flow through you, it's just like ding, 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 ding you know, all these things and, and, right. <laughs> and all we need. And here's the thing. So the man sitting over here thinking, we're coming and asking you to help me, you know, and, and we're trying, you're trying to figure out where she's coming from because she's here and here and here and here and here, right? Right. All we need you to do is be a strong wall. Go, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. We don't need you to fix what we're talking about. We need to vent against the wall. <laughs> and every now and then, fellas, and every now and then you got to say, you don't say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you say, Is that don't. right? Is that right? Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. Okay. You don't yeah. need to say anything more, guys. You don't need to say anything more. I'm serious. And, and now today, let's get into the the in in that regard into the technology age where we're texting we're it's there's very little actual conversation whereas years ago if you were connecting with somebody if you were dating somebody you were face to face right you were think about this you were integrating all five senses when you were dating when you were holding hands whatever you were integrating those now look at this here it is a flat screen 
if you're even doing FaceTime. Right. How much are you actually missing? How are you going to communicate this way? Yeah, there's a there's a there's an energy wise there's a blockage. Oh. There is, there is. But now, oh. like, I'll give you an example about texting. And you, I know you're going to see this because as a female energy, okay, so our only communication with a male energy, let's say, is to text. Right. All right. So this energy is still tearing through us here, 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 here. And we're going to be sending you texts like this long about this, 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 this. And you're just like, oh, shut it off. Right, if right. you don't understand, if you don't understand how it works and what you're not required to do anything, but go, uh-huh, smiley face. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's it. You don't need to do anything. But, but, <laughs> but I know guys, I know guys who, who say, who jokingly say, we don't read all that text, like that whole, that whole story. We don't read it. And, and, right. uh, and some, some women, even if they don't say it, some women will be like, if he doesn't answer or respond right, the woman will respond. I know you didn't read that text. <laughs> you know, like she kind of knows. Really? Oh, <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't know. But, I think it's, but we got, I but you're right. We got to accept each other. We got to accept each other. Yeah. And I, I think it, it maybe is different how we grew up. If, if a woman grew up around a lot of girls, you know, she gets a lot more. I've seen this a lot. I've seen this where if there's a family of girls, they tend to be a lot more um, touchy with emotions. Um, if a girl grows up in, a, in around a lot of boys, she's used to that. She knows she doesn't even expect them to read all that stuff. <laughs> I mean, right. I know right. that when I send along, I'm just I'm just sending this in. Literally, what it does is it bounces that energy off of something to where it can come back organized in my poor brain. I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, you know, <laughs> a lot of women wouldn't say this because they don't want to, they don't want to feel vulnerable because we are vulnerable. Yes. We have all this energy. We have a downloads of energy that I believe are, you know, universally tapped in because of the womb. The womb is like the most powerful energy downloader or source that brings brings it to the planet you know it's the only way we can even get here wow but it comes through in such amounts of information in such random ways <laughs> i mean right. i i grew up i grew up around boys all my life i don't expect i know i don't how they i don't expect them to to try to unravel because that's just not how it works <laughs> Right. I mean, you, you can't predict, uh, you can't predict the moon. Like it's, it's ever changing. Um, yeah. And I think where men mess up, we start living or, uh, or, or yeah, living on the vibration or the frequency of the woman, which is a mistake. We, we, we get yeah, emotional. He needs to, stay, he, needs to yeah. stay, he needs to stay in the sun while she is in the moon, which waxes and wanes. The sun is steady. The yeah. sun comes up and the sun isn't going to wax and wane. It's, yeah, sometimes there's clouds over it. That's that's like when the man goes into his space. He's got to go into his space. And I learned that growing up with brothers and having seven boys of my own. Right. The the sometimes the sun has to go behind the cloud, and yeah. then when it comes out, it shines brighter than ever. Yeah, you're rejuvenated. Yeah. But the yeah. moon, the moon is always waxing and waning, and it's on. Yeah. You know, just uh, you know, and that's just that's just. The tides actually follow the moon. All the tides on the planet follow the moon, and the woman follows the moon and the tides. So it's it's this it's this energy like this. So let's say the woman's energy is like this, and the man man's energy is just you know, it's 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 a, like sine waves. If you see the different sine waves, that's kind of how it is. Yes. As yes. long as we understand it and we can sync those those waves together, that's when, you know, we can heal the planet. I believe. I, I agree. I agree.